One of the biggest mistakes that I see private practice owners make every day is not keeping their team accountable when it comes to matters of compliance. More specifically, matters relating to paperwork. For example, Medicare reporting, NDIS reporting, any type of reporting and documenting that we need to do as a private practice clinician. The thing is, a lot of private practice owners don't like to micromanage their team. And they like even less being accused of being micromanagers. And who's got time to micromanage your team anyway? We are all way too busy. But there's a big difference between micromanaging and accountability. And it is 100% most certainly your job as the business owner to keep your team accountable to matters around compliance. Now, whether you have a team of employees or a team of contractors, compliance are still ultimately your responsibility. So my question to you today is this, what are you doing to ensure compliance within your business? What systems and processes do you have in place for compliance and accountability around that to not be a once off thing, to not be something that all of a sudden you need to do these checks because somebody's leaving the practice and you need to audit their files. No, what are you doing to check on this on a regular basis? Personally, I encourage all my mentoring and coaching clients to have a multi-pronged approach within their business when it comes to accountability and managing compliance issues. So if you are a group private practice owner, I really wanna strongly encourage you to not shy away from accountability, not judge it as being micromanaging, but really step into the role that you have to play as the CEO of your small business and ensure that clinical governance is at the forefront when it comes to compliance matters within your group private practice.